I haven't heard so much about the four program, but when uh, and Mike had uh, said something to me about it, I started reading on it, and I was surprised at how how somebody else, I guess, would think, you know, how we would think, you know, and it just, just was really neat. Uh, for for instance, you're talking about the, um, I know one of them's on the right source, and I had worked with Mike um, uh, several years ago. We still do a small amount of nitrogen broadcasting over top, and um, we I worked with him on nitrogen stabilization, and he was telling me how we can use sulfur to stabilize nitrogen. So we put, uh, got the highest concentration of sulfur in our nitrogen to stabilize our nitrogen to help with that broadcast coverage to help break residue down to help chemicals work and such and that was one thing when you're talking about the right source that was one of the things that i thought of that was something that we do that i think really works well we've learned a lot about um, paying more attention to detail for planning dates and times um, we when we when i was younger and we had milk cows it wasn't as something that we we kind of fit the field work in around the cows but now we're a little more concentrated on trying to do a good job of everything and we've really paying a lot of attention for timing for fertilizer application we do uh, side dress nitrogen we we pull soil samples prior to side dressing because we spread manure so we can be putting the right rates out in the right fields with the nutrient management that's come out here even in Delaware a lot of a lot of good uh, information has come out of it I think it's 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 gotten more farmers to think more about what they're doing and and, and spending a learning uh, it, it's been a valuable tool to a lot of farmers to get you thinking a little more about it I know when I, when I was reading about you know the four R's I was thinking how like kind of touched on before about how um, you know we, we're, we're taking some tissue sampling and such and doing some different things and it's funny how the smallest little problem that you can fix you can really change the outcome of the crop it's not necessarily something major where somebody's thinking of the th big three the nitrogen phosphorus and potash it's it's just a complete you have to attack everything from all sides from soil and and fertility i am actually the fifth generation on my farm so um we've been there for a long time 